you guys would like to know how I did this hair and makeup, keep watching. I'm just gonna start off with some primer. I'm gonna use this black shimmer on the outer edge. It's gonna roughly draw out the shape. I'm going slightly lower because I'm gonna connect the lower lash line to this upper eyeshadow. I'm going to use some buck from the Urban Decay palette. I'm gonna put this in the crease line. Then I'm gonna use this goldish orange color. Actually, what I might do is I'm going to first put on Half Baked from the Urban Decay palette and then on top of that I'm going to put this gold orangey shimmer. I'm just going to line the bottom of my lash line and then go in with an angled brush with that same black on the lower lash line just to seal that colour in. Just created a wing with the eyeshadow. I'm just going to darken the lower lash line where my eyelashes are. I'm going to use a liquid pen just to line my lash line. And I'm going to go over that with a jet liner. So I've just created a little triangle on my inner eye. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. I um, just need to put some mascara on. I've put primer on already and I'm going to use NARS Sheer Glow. And this is going on the inner part of my face. And then I'm going to use Cera Cruise on the outer part. I'm going to use a bit of the yellow corrector from Maybelline. NW30. I'm also going to put some trick and treatment under my eyes to brighten that area up, down my nose, a bit on my forehead, upper lip and a bit on my chin. I'm going to use Krylon's translucent powder seal underneath my eye, just underneath where the black eyeshadow is, because I don't want that to go into my line, so I'm just going to seal that in now so it doesn't drop down during the day. Collection Compact Powder in Deep, which is a dark colour. And I'm going to contour my face with it. And because it's powder, it will mattify it, as well as giving you contour. So it's a two-in-one. I'm not going to put any here because I want there to be sheen there. What I'm doing is giving myself a tan on my face. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of powder on my apples on my cheeks. That bit gets greasy during the day. I'm going to do my eyebrows and it comes with a white inside it. I'm going to put that white on under my brow bone. I'm going to finish off my eyes by putting on some falsies. I'm going to layer Lily Lashes, layered them together. There's two strips there. Lashes on, I turn to the side. Go over it with liquid liner. On this inner part here, I think I'm going to use shimmery pink. Might put some on the outer edge as well. I'm going to use this Inglot bronzer, but it's matte. So I'm going to use a little bit of it just under my 
cheekbones. And then I'm going to use this orange. I'm just going to tap it lightly. And I just want that literally just on the apples of my cheeks. And then blend it out. I'm going to put some Smashbox Artificial Light on my cheekbones. Just a tiny bit. To give my cheeks a bit more of a glow. Number seven, Perfect Lips Pencil. And on top of that, I'm going to use Avon's Gimio, really pretty pale peach colour. Hmm, I don't think I'm feeling this colour because it's a bit too shiny. I want the eyes to do all the talking, I should prefer it matte. I'm going to use Smashbox Latte, which is a matte nude colour. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like that one either. Okay, Revlon Matte and Pink Pout. It's really light on here, but I'm going to mix it with this one. You can just see a slight colour change. And because this one's matte as well. I don't know. You guys tell me which ones you like. Um, First, second, or third? I don't know. Looks like a clown. Okay. I think I'm just going to stick with the Smashbox. I think it's going to have to be the Smashbox Latte. I think that'll be the best one. Okay, now to do my hair. I didn't feel like having it so curly today, so I use this really big brush. It's the um, Ionic Ceramic one, number 80. It's huge. Um, I got it when I had longer hair, but now I have shorter hair. It kind of gives me kind of waves, well, slightly. And I didn't want such big hair today. I just wanted clean, soft hair. <laughs> Okay, so that's my whole look done. My eye makeup and my hair. Now for the outfit. So this is my outfit that I'll be wearing. It's a Horson Curtis shirt with black detail. Um, pleather jeans. Let's see it better here. 
pepper jeans and my office shoes that I have. I'm off to dinner now, so I shall see you in my next video. Bye!